my beautiful Sagittarius. This will be the tw January 2019 reading for Sagittarius. Can you believe the new year is right around the corner? Um, this is Gina with Aries Goddess Tarot. And I want to say welcome to my channel. If you're one of my subscribers already, thank you. I love you. Um, if you're not, please like and subscribe if you like this video. These are monthly readings, and um, you'll know when I put a new video up. Uh, this is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, you can check your moon sign and your rising signs, and you can do that for free at astro.com, and I will put that link in the description box. Um, and like I said, it is free, so that's always a plus. Uh, if you would like a private reading, uh, my contact information is in the description box along with, um, some of the readings that I do and the rest are on my website. So without further ado, we will get started. Uh, the first card that, um. Uh, Sets the tone, really, uh, for the whole reading um, is the Ascended Masters uh, Oracle deck. So, all right. What do we want to... What is... Oh, here we go. Oh, Wow. St. Germain, work your magic. Wow. <laughs> you have magic within you, Sag. You're a fire sign. Um, in fact, Sagittarius is my rising sign. Um, and I get along with most Sages probably for that reason. Uh, St. Germain um, was known as the Wonderman of Europe uh, in the early 1700s and just renowned for his uh, magical powers to help light workers. So are you a light worker? You might be. You ha definitely have powers within you. Alright, now the next few cards are going to be from the Mythical Goddess Tarot deck. I absolutely love these cards and they are absolutely gorgeous. Alright, one more shuffle here. And let's see what the bottom card is. Oh, the works card, or I'm sorry, the star card, what am I saying? All right, the star card with the Pleiadian star goddess, and look at all that magic she's got. Boy, you got lots of magic to start with. It's um, the number 17 in the... Um, <laughs> In the major arcanas, if I can talk today, wow. And she is on this card because she is um, just an essence of beauty and inspiration. And she's compassionate and just remember your higher your higher path on this earth boy that really sounds like um yeah definitely magic and more magic you have powers within you um power of your mind really 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 the power of your mind all right not the way you wanted me to shuffle again. All right. Mm. All right. The next one is the Eight of Seas, the Depletion card. 
Now, none of these cards are negative. This is kind of, it's a warning. Um, are you feeling depleted? Look at the, the dolphins there. They're not in very much water, almost beached. It's dark. Um, this is a reminder that you're not like that. You're not depleted in any way. Um, you have, you have strength, um, within you. I know sometimes this time of year, uh, we can all kind of feel that way from time to time, but your heart really needs nourishment. Remember that you're worthy of love though. Um, yeah, don't. You have, you have support. You're worthy of love. Don't ever feel any different than that. Next, we have the Nine of Seas, the Joy card. Look at her riding that dolphin in the sunshine, not having a care in the world. And, and that's what it's telling you. Have some joy in your life. Have fun. Have fun. I love that card. It's just like, don't have a care in the world and just have some fun. All right. And then we've got the two of fire centering. And this is actually, um, you're doing a good job staying centered and keep it up. Uh, she's got her hands around her heart chakra there and she's sitting on the ground. Stay grounded, stay centered. Keep up the good work. You can do it. That also, when you stay grounded, it helps. Um, it helps bring the magic out. It helps um, how you are feeling about yourself and your life and even other people in your life. All right. And then last but not least for this deck we've got the crone of seas resurrection and um she's she's really really awesome i love these cards isn't that beautiful and she she comes to you when when you have uh powerful times of release and shift in your life and you know she's living there in the murky underworld but she does have the moon behind her there and she's reminding you to express your feelings your heart and a lot of times it's when the moon's there pay attention to your dreams um, yeah, because some, a, your subconscious can talk to you more at night in your dreams. All right, and then I am going to take a uh, card here for some guidance from the Archangels uh, Oracle deck, and they always give some clarity on, on the rest of this message here. Oh, Wow. Teaching and learning. Archangel Zadkiel. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach these ideas to others. It goes very well with work your magic, by the way. I don't have a whole lot of room here. Let's scoot these over a little bit. Yeah. Teaching and learning. You know... When I was little, I wanted to be a school teacher. I used to play school with my cousin all the time. And I'm not a school teacher, but I feel like I did have teaching in my, <laughs> I feel like I'm teaching here. I really want to help people. I really enjoy, um, you know, giving people what I know. Or trying to help people anyway and give them advice, even if it's through my cards here. All right, then um, 
I've got an Archangel Michael card here for you. Oh, write about your thoughts and feelings. And these have a prayer on them. My prayer. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so that I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. You know, that goes along with like keeping a dream journal or even just keeping a journal. Write, write down your thoughts. It can help you really, um, you know, put them all together. You might have a thousand different things going through your head all at one time. Um, that happens to me a lot. And it really does help to write write down what you're feeling. And it helps you organize your thoughts a lot. Um, I probably don't write as much as I should. But, alright. And then, I also have an oracle deck from... The uh, Egyptian goddess Isis. I believe she is just one of the most beautiful goddesses, in my opinion. And she, um, the, there's a different picture on the back of each one. I absolutely love these cards. And it goes right along with the message. And there's just a guidance here. And this one is Power Over Seven Scorpions. You are being initiated into the magic of conjuring so as to have the power to affect lower vibrational forces through your own will and spoken word. You are guided to use this powerful gift with compassion and discernment, with mercy and non-judgment. You can then manage any toxicity in your life swiftly and with great effect work your magic sag wow it's exactly and teaching and learning and see how these just they really all go together it looks like your january is going to be a lot of teaching and learning but at the same time Work your magic. Remember to have fun. You know, if you need to organize your thoughts, write them down. But this is very, very good for you, Sages. Very, very good. And there's a look at all your cards together there. And like I said, I, I love my Sages. Um, if you want the reading to be more personal... My contact information is in the description box, so hit me up and I will uh, give you a more personal reading. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.